scholar Livia Cohn says, Taoism relates directly to the personal experience of oneness with the Tao. For the Taoist mystic, a life in the Tao is the only true way of being in the world. But union with the Tao is not a matter of uniting two separate objects. For the Taoist understands this mystery. The Tao is not only the one from which all things are created. The Tao is all created things. Therefore, you can affirm, I am the Tao. It is awesome especially when you have some even glimmer of a hint of what this great Tao is, this great enormous sphere of being. It's like imagining yourself under the largest planet you can conceive as, of, under a Jupiter or under a great central sun. And here's this tiny person and this great, 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 great sphere. That is the awesomeness of it. That we are the Tao and yet we are a little point of light in the Tao. Somewhere in my meditations in this life, I can remember experiencing this great, great, great sphere. It was tangible, it had weight. And what I remember about it is that it had a sound. It had a hum that was coming from it. And I was outside of it in this position of contemplating what was being shown to me. And that is all there was to it. The sense of the ultimate presence of beingness and that it had a sound that was a cosmic hum, and that I was a part of that hum and a part of that sphere. I would like you to think of this teaching when you look at the chart of your I am presence. It is no longer flat with seven color bands. It is pulsating spheres of light and levels of consciousness and octaves of absolute God perfection a place where you can journey, it is an entire cosmos. And you are that cosmos and the cosmos is you. And these are not words, because as I just said, I have glimpsed this presence. And I know what we are tied to and what we are a part of. So think of that when you give your tube of light call. When you call forth that light and that presence, of what actually is coming upon you, how it is the infinite God, right there every day when you call for that tube of light. You establish that oneness with the great Dharmakaya, the great body of first cause. In his book, The Secret and the Sublime, John Blofeld wrote what a Taoist told him about this principle. He said, in the Tao, all creatures and objects have their being. The same may be said of your goldfish and the water in which they swim, but the likeness is only superficial. One could take a fish out of water and put it back, but the separateness of creatures and objects either from one another or from the Tao is illusory. Apart from the totality which is the Tao, they have no being. The Tao and the myriad objects are not two. The Tao's creations are the Tao. I think the sense that we have of being separate from one another is something that at times is very comforting. We would not like to be a part of all of the households of the world and all of the karmas of those households and the arguments of the people and their experiences. We're so glad for our little patch of earth, our cot, our little room, whatever it may be, because within that definition, we can be in our own space, in our own consciousness of the Tao. 
to come to the realization that there really is not a separation, to feel world pain as well as the allness of God is quite another dimension of living. I can tell you that I myself do not abide in it at all times, but there are times when I must abide in it. And so it goes from the agony to the ecstasy, because when you enter oneness with life, you are also one with all of these supernatural beings, these ascended masters. And so there's a downside and an upside and a front and a back when we understand yin and yang. Thinking of that experience that I had and telling you that I was on the outside of this great sphere shows a step in consciousness of becoming aware of the sphere and also being aware that one is not yet fully a part of it. One hasn't reached the fullness of the state of absolute union. We can compare this to a mural. All the knights and their horses, the captains and their hosts, are merely outlines on a mural. They do not exist apart from the mural. They are made of the stuff that the mural is made of. So even so, I am an outline drawn upon the Tao, and I and the Tao are one. I could not, I would not want to exist without the Tao. The Tao is what I am. I may not know what that means, but at least I have something to hang on to. I am the Tao. The Tao is what I am. The Tao is I am. The Tao is the warp and woof, the very fabric of my being. When I say I and the Tao are one, I am saying I and my father are one, and I and my mother are one. Nothing exists outside the Tao. I am inside the Tao. The Tao is myself, and I am the Tao's self. <laughs>